Hey everybody, uh, back with some more pack openings. Uh, today I've actually got six, so I thought I'd try something uh, on a little different. I'm sure somebody's done it before, but uh, I'm uh, kind of obsessed with um, uh, Magic Online, uh, the drafting stuff when the Instruct came out and done just a bunch of drafts. Uh, I don't suggest anybody get into that because it's, unless you run well, it gets expensive. Uh, I've been lucky to pull a few things. Um, like one draft I got. Um, or I'm sorry, when sealed, I got Grook and full Grook, so that paid for like my next three events. But uh, you know, if you're not running really well or pulling a lot of big stuff, you're just it's a money hole. But uh, besides that, I do enjoy doing it, and I watch you know draft videos online a lot on here on YouTube. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I'd go through these packs, um, open up one, you know, go through those cards, show you what I get, but also like say what my pack one pick one would be. It's not always the rare, obviously, like Claustrophobia, practically unplayable in, you know, standard or any kind of constructed, uh, is a really good limited card, so, you know, that's an example. Uh, and then also when I'm done, uh, with all the six packs, go in this video, um, set out, do a sealed, like I do my sealed pool, for six pack sealed pool, uh, come back and do a video of that, uh, and kind of just go through my thought process of what, uh, what type I went into, what colors. And then, you know, see what y'all think. If you have any suggestions, I, I seem to always either get into, you know, white-green humans, because there's a lot of white-green humans in this deck, or this set, I'm sorry, or uh, blue-black, you know, control. Uh, very rarely do I run something like a, a red-black, or I did try the uh, the blue-red <laughs> Burning Vengeance deck, which actually won. It's just kind of hard to get together in limited. Um, but uh, if you can get the right flashback cards, that uh, it's kind of tough to mess with because a lot of it's instant speed and it's into their turn, just damage to the face or clear out the board. Um, you know, get on that. But uh, I guess we'll start with opening the packs and kind of go from there. See what y'all think. Uh, I just everywhere in the air has been out of Innistrad for a while. Walmart finally got some back in, and I hate getting stuff at Walmart. I tried to support my local shop, but they had zero Innistrad packs for sale. I called, and they said, we have zero Innistrad packs for sale, because I didn't have enough to do their drafts, really. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got the Blood Craze Neonates. Silver Chase Fox. Is that Cobble Wings? Yeah. Uh, Curse of the Bloody Tome. Bump in the Night. Uh, Nightbird's Clutches. Um, Traveler's Amulet. I think that's Travel preparations. Uh, think twice. Spider spawning. Uh, Demon Mel Halbert. Uh, More Crook Banshee. Uh, Charm Breaker. Charm Breaker Devils. And the flip card is the Villagers of Eastwald. Okay, so just real quick looking back through them. Uh, of course, the Charm Breakers is a really sick card to get out. It's just, you know, it's a six drop. But if you ever get that out, and there's a, the uh, End of the Mall of Hell, if you have that couple of that card in this, it's just destroy the land, kill a guy every turn. It's just because it, if that's like the only sorcery you have, it's a good little combo. I had done to me and done to a few people. Um, so that's definitely one of the top ones. Um, if I didn't take the Charm Breaker Devils, which I probably would, I would probably take Travel Preparations, because like I said, I end up in, uh, in Green White a lot, and uh, it's a good flashback card with counters, and you know, usually if you got, you know, you cast it turn four or five, you double cast it, and you got two counters on two guys, or one, 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 you know, pump your whole team, uh, it's a really good card if you're going to be in Green White, so... Uh, probably go with the Devils, but uh, if I was feeling green white that day, travel preparations is easily a, a first pick. Uh, okay, on the next pack. Probably gonna be a long video, so need to hurry it up, I suppose. I might actually have to break this up into two parts. Oh, Blood Craze Neonate. Silver Chase Fox. Bump of the Night. Oh, Moment of Heroism. Oh, Deranged Assistant. Brimstone Volley. Uh, gnaw to the Bone. Looks like the Interloper. Vampire Interloper. Uh, Curse of the Pierced Heart. Midnight Hauntings. Another Demon Mill Hauberk. Uh, Wreath of Geist. Ooh. 
heretic's punishment. Uh, oh, pretty good one, uh, Gastoff Shepherd. Um, like I said, these are going to be separate pack one, pick one. It's not like I'm going to go, you know, like this will be my next pick and da da da. It's, you can obviously get the best pick out of every pack that way. Um, still, um, probably the best card is Brimstone Volley. Um, don't think you're wrong going with the Shepherd because he's got Intimidate when he flips and 3-3 three, three Intimidate's pretty good. Uh, there's like no good blue in this deck. Assistance, not, not even playable that much. Uh, the Vampire, if you just really want to go to that deck. Black, he's, he's a 2-1 two, two that, that attacks, he doesn't block. So. If you got the beats, that's uh, he's not bad. He's not a pack one to pick one to me, but y'all may think differently. So probably the Shepherd uh, or the Brimstone Volley. Like I said, some people just won't draft red in this set. Um, I don't blame them. You know, there's not a lot of great red, but the red that's good is really good, like in the Long Hell and Brimstone Volley. Um, a couple of the Werewolf. Uh, Instigator Gang. I've had it pass to me like on the third pick, and it's just like, you know, take it. Uh, he flips. He's an eight-five. It makes everybody else plus three while they're attacking. Um, so, I don't know. So we just don't like red this hit. I don't know. Okay, here's some good removal to start off. Victim of Night, Van Claustrophobia, uh, Kinder Catch, Orchid Spirit, Bonds of Faith, Vampiric Fury, Naturalize, Typhoid Rats, Harvest Pyre, Dissipate, Butcher's Cleaver. Gallows Warden, Elite Inquisitor, and flip card is, we got uh, Grizzled Outcast, a quick look back, well this was the removal pack, I tell you, um, honestly, I, it's hard not to take the Inquisitor, but I mean, I'd probably take Claustrophobia. It's just, there's no you know, restrictions, like on Victim of Night, so non-vampire, non-werewolf, non-zombie. It's like 80% of the set, you can't kill. Like, Ge Geist Caster's Rig, yeah, it kills that, it's great. But, um, Bonds of Faith is also really good, it's like pacifism that can pump your guy, but uh, probably go with Claustrophobia. I'm gonna make a awkward seal pull, I can just tell. But, uh, Pack four. Okay, we've got cobbled wings. Was that uh, oh, skeletal grimace? Uh, feeling of dread. Uh, dark thicket wolf. No naturalized. Yeah. Die four rats. Harvest pyre, which is a good card. Mulch. Smite the monstrous. Falcon wrath noble. Thane hunter. Uh, make a wish and oh, go land woodland cemetery. And the flip card is actually a rare Ludovic's test subject. Um, like I said, just for draft purposes, probably, probably just go with Fiend Hunter. I mean, it's just it's an oblivion ring with a 1 3 body. Kind of tough to miss that if you don't want to go white. Um, a noble, you know, gain life, they lose life. It it really does swing matches if you got a, a sacrifice outlet, like the um, the guy that makes two two homunculus creatures. You just make the guy immediately sack him, and they just lose life and you gain life. So um, you know, it doesn't seem like much, but it adds up over a couple of turns. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I to see the uh, dual land. I needed that one. So, for my stuff. I also need some sulfur falls. Uh, I haven't opened any of those. Kessid wolf. Uh, what was that? Wooden stake. Thestrahide boar. Maw the mire. Sorry. Thraben purebloods. Night revelers. Uh, travel preparations. Uh, Chapel geist. Think twice. Uh, desperate ravings. Falcon Rath Noble again, Rage Thrower, that guy's good, and Limited Honor.
about distracted. Ooh, step of the bloodline. Need more of those. And the flip is Iron Village Ironsmith, which turns into that 3 1 first strike iron thing. Uh, okay. Skin. Travel preparations. Feel green white. Never feel bad with those in your deck. Uh, Chapel Geist is a you know, good 2 3 flyer for 3. Uh, Falcon Wrath Noble, but probably just go Bloodlines. It's such a good card. Uh, just could, you know, just remove half their board in a lot of cases. Um, you know, flashes back, so. Well, last pack. Hopefully this will all go on the video. It may get cut off and I'll just be kind of hosed. But Elder Cathar. Grave Bramble, Blood Craze Neonate again, Fear of the Bitten, um, what's it? Oh, Makeshift Mauler, uh, Prey Upon, good card, um, Rotting Fin Snake, Village Bell Ringer, um, Travel Preparations, Inquisitor's Flail, Curiosity, Murder of Crows, ooh, Mirror Phantasm, Mythic, awesome, and a, the 4 4 Angel token, haven't seen any of these yet. Oh, Delver of Secrets is the flip card. So, going for the pick. Um, Travel Preparations. But probably going with Murder of Crows. You just don't get past that card very often unless it's pack three and the guys to your, you're passing to you just aren't in blue. But, really sick card. Um, okay. So, so I'm going to go and try and make a sealed pull out of that and uh, just see what I can come up with. And like I said, if you have any suggestions or what you might have done, uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, hopefully I'll get another uh, trade video or two up. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching.